The Wooby. It's a strange name for something that is so loved by the U.S. military. Uh, these came out during the Vietnam War, and they were made from surplus parachute material used during World War II. Uh, it's a nylon shell, and it has polyester filling in it. It's super lightweight, and yet it's really warm. And there's so many uses for the Wooby. Now, the Wooby is actually liner wet weather poncho. That's the official name. And it is a poncho liner but it's used for so many different purposes. It's super lightweight, it compacts down to a really small size, and it dries really fast. And so these are very popular with the US military and for good reason. And so we're gonna look at some reasons why you need a Wooby, especially if you have a go bag, get home bag, you wanna put things together for maybe a power outage. Uh, there's a lot of things that the Wooby is great for. Now I picked these up on Sportsman's Guide, and these are surplus Woobies. Uh, I have a number of Woobies, but I wanted to make sure that I had one for the entire family. And the great thing is, is you get $20 off every $100 or more purchase using Sooch. And we really appreciate Sportsman's Guide for offering that to the viewers, and I take advantage of that myself. The Wooby. Honestly, the name is Poncho Liner. Uh, this is what most people have called this. Uh, since the 1960s when it was invented during the Vietnam War. Now this is the ACU pattern, so this is a more modern pattern and they still use these today. Uh, but since 1960 they've been using these as a poncho liner, which is part of a sleep system. And here is a standard poncho in the OD green. Uh, these are covered with rubber, so it's kind of got a, a sealed finish to it. It's ripstop underneath. And these are actually the same exact size dimensionally as the Wooby. In fact, they fit together into a sleep system. And part of that has to do with a lot of the grommets that are on each end and all the way throughout. And you can attach the strings that are actually on your Wooby and tie those in to the poncho. Now, this is actually a really a moderate temperature type sleep system. This is not for cold weather. And some people over the years have tried that. But one of the problems with the poncho is because it is rubberized, it doesn't breathe. And so a lot of condensation can form underneath. And a lot of the guys won't really seal these up, but they kind of let it air out a little bit and get a little bit of air in there because they want to keep that condensation down. And now with a poncho, of course, you have a place to put your head through. So it has a hole and you have a hood. And you can cinch this down over your head. But when it comes to the wooby, it doesn't have a hole to put your head through. And that's by design. This was not necessarily meant uh, to be used with your poncho as such, but this was mainly used for the sleep system. Now the official name is Liner Wet Weather Poncho. Uh, this is what this is officially called, but most of the troops would call it Poncho Liner, and then it started becoming named Wooby. Now there's a lot of myths about how they came up with that name. Uh, one of the main myths is in 1983, Mr. Mom came out with Michael Keaton and his son had a blanket and he said, do you have your Wooby? And it wasn't though until the 90s before the U.S. military, a lot of the soldiers started calling this Wooby. But a lot of them could have been watching the movie as a kid and then when they got a hold of these, they called them a Wooby. There's a lot of other theories about how the name came up. So there's no concrete evidence, but it is called the Wooby. But there are some guys that have been in the military all through the 90s that said they never called this a wooby. <laughs> now we have two layers of nylon and it's ripstop, it's quilted. You can see the, the lines all the way through it. And then inside is a layer of polyester fiber lining. And so that creates a little bit of a barrier which gives you a little bit of warmth. It just keeps the warmth in the air in between. You would be protected more if you had on a coat or you had on, you know, your regular gear. But that's one of the things that a lot of people I've seen, especially civilians, try to use these in really cold weather. And it just doesn't work unless you're using other elements. But what was really cool is this is, was originally parachute material. Uh, it was recycled parachute material from World War II. So a lot of the camouflage was more of that duck blind type camouflage. And they used that because they had tons of it in storage. And so they produced a lot of those with that World War II material. Then they started making the material actually for the Wooby itself. Now your M65 field jacket also has a liner and it has a similar material in it for its liner, but it's much smaller. And so it's not as versatile as the Wooby. 
Of course, now the military has advanced to the modular sleep system, and it's a whole different deal. It's more like mummy bags that interlock, and you can go from, you know, down to about 30 degrees all the way down to minus 10 degrees, and it's a whole system. But one of the things about it is pretty heavy. So a lot of times when guys would go in the field, they would carry this just because it's super lightweight. Now, one of the things that's really big about the Wubi is that it is lightweight. This weighs one and a half pounds. Actually, this replaced the wool blanket. Uh, which was really heavy and so this gave it a very lightweight material and yet uh, it's very packable so you can take this roll it up and make it really small and then you can pack this you know into a pack and it takes up less room uh, one of the things I read was that sometimes compressing all that material can keep it from being as insulated as before but honestly these fibers they just kind of bounce back now, one of the other big things about the Wubi is that it dries really fast. So if you get this wet, uh, you can just hang it out and dry it out. This is not rain resistant, but it will keep some of the moisture off. In fact, last night I was out testing it, uh, just doing some stuff, and it was really, it was down to about 30 degrees. And I went outside with a kind of a light coat on, and it was very cold. I put this around me and I was really warm in a hurry. That is one of the big things you'll see in a lot of photos where soldiers, they're at rest, they're taking a break, and they have these wrapped around them to keep them warm. One of the big problems in Vietnam was it got up to 100 degrees during the day and then around the 50s at night. And, you know, when you're used to that heat, that really gets cool, and so these really came in handy. Now, the dimensions of the Wubi are 62 inches by 82 inches, which is approximately 7 feet by 5 feet. Uh, and so it gives you enough length if you're really tall you know you're going to have an issue especially wrapping up your feet if you're using it in the uh, sleep system but it definitely is fairly long and then of course five feet in width so you can really wrap up uh, even if you have a full pack on it gives you a lot of strength and it's really soft material uh, it feels like a blanket and so i think that's one of the big appeals with a lot of the troops they can wrap this around them, and yet it gives them a level of comfort. And again, that's probably why they called it the Wooby, kind of affectionately so. Now these do come in a number of different colors. Uh, and this is, of course, the ACU used you know, in Iraq and Afghanistan, places like that early on. But there's a lot of different colors that these come in. Uh, but this one is a true U.S. military surplus Wooby. In fact, this one has the tag on it, and it even has instructions and what it's called all the pertinent details uh, and sportsman's guide got these actually out of military surplus storage and it says 100 percent nylon outer shell the batting is 100 percent polyester and here i have the hood all cinched up and of course you know i've got little grommets here this is an older style by the way so this one's been around for a while and these are in pretty decent shape actually but they've been reinforced here with some glue and also on the poncho liners they have these little snaps and these snaps can go either way. Uh, you can attach a snap here, and then you can attach another snap here. And of course, those go all the way down through here. But they do have grommets in places just for you to attach your wooby, and it just goes through, and you can just tie it off. And so it makes it really easy to attach these two together to keep them from moving back and forth. And these strings are everywhere they have a grommet on your poncho. You can see these two are identically the same size and they were designed that way and there's a lot of additions that people do people even cut holes in the center of their wooby to be able to match their poncho and then have a zipper or they stitch it up so you know there's a lot of things you can do but as far as what the u.s military issued this is the way it came now wherever there's a grommet you have strings so we will just run it through like a shoelace and that way they can get out of it quick. There are some quick release methods also. And now you're attached. And you do this to every point. And then you can see that there's air that comes in between. Now there are eight different grommets. We have them all tied. So what we do is just bring over our poncho and made it up. And this is what's gonna make our sleep system. And now you have your snaps and so you can bring these over what a lot of guys do is actually turn it over like this and then bring this in and it gives you a little bit more you know just protection from the water uh, you still have some open areas all through here but it does just keep everything together and then you just go down the line and you can snap these just like you want to 
and these points go all the way through. They're about, that looks like about eight to 10 inches apart. But then this keeps the wooby in place. Now this is a bottom end. And so you're gonna wanna tuck this under. Some people put rucksacks in front of this or put boots and different things to kind of keep this, you know, from coming undone. And if you're a really tall guy, these, your feet can stick out. And you'll notice I haven't attached the snaps here yet. Uh, so I can just lift this up and get in. And then once I'm in, I can attach these snaps. And really you should get in with your boots on uh, because you're gonna be ready to go. You don't wanna be strapping your boots if all of a sudden gunfire erupts. And again, that ending could come open. So having your boots on is gonna be important. You could even tie this down a little more. You can kind of adjust this however you want to. And then of course we can go ahead and snap in the rest of them. The great thing about this is I can unsnap this really fast. Here I've got it all snapped up, ready to go. I can put this over me. You know, a lot of guys will use their pack or different things to be able to use it as a pillow, but this will keep you warm. But again, there's condensation that's gonna form in here, which you'll get cold once that evaporates. So you, you want a little bit of air coming through. This isn't made for comfort. This is made to keep you alive. And that's the main thing. Now when using this as a sleep system, most guys wanna just keep this in one bundle. You can do this, you can fold it again. Take some webbing, wrap it up. Of course, the old Alice packs, man, they had a lot of extra webbing you could attach to this, uh, but attach it to your pack, you know, the best way you can. And then when you're ready to go, just roll it out and you can rest. Because a lot of times guys didn't have time to really set up a lot of sleep systems. This made it really fast. You only had a few minutes to rest. This is a great way to do it. And if I didn't have this as part of my sleep system, this could even be used as a pillow because it's really soft. Of course, laying it out, you can use it to put things on that you don't want to get dirty. Let's say you have your backpack, you have your rifle, whatever. You can just lay it out on there. You can work on things on the Wooby. Uh, there are just so many different uses. Uh, you may be cleaning your gun. You know, you can lay it out there. Now, you don't want to get solvents and everything else on this, but, you know, a lot of guys use these for a lot of different things. But, and it also keeps things dry when you have it on the ground, and it makes a good ground cover if you just want to put it on the ground and lay on the ground. The great thing about the Wooby is, is even with a pack on, let's say, um, you know, outside, we've got a campfire going, it's still cold. Pull this thing around me just like a blanket. Don't have to take my pack off. Can if I want, wrap up in this. That insulation really works. I mean, it's not super great, but you know, for what it is and because it's so versatile, it gives you a great option. Then you have your pack back there. No one knows the difference. This can also be used in a blind. Uh, if you're hunting, if you're camping, just pulling out this, it's really soft material dries really fast and that's a big plus especially when you're in the outdoors because you don't want to carry around a big heavy wool blanket that's wet sitting on a hard surface <laughs> whether you're at a college football game this makes a great cushion and again it's so lightweight and a lot of guys use these especially traveling in humvees where they weren't so super comfortable or you just want to sit somewhere you may be sitting on a tank you may be sitting around camp. You want to sit on something soft, and this is a great way to do it. Plus, it'll keep your butt warm. And one of the things recently that's happened with people getting stranded on the freeway and freezing temperatures, uh, having something like this in your trunk or in your bag <laughs> just allows you to pull that out. Uh, you could also use one of your Mylar space blankets, your emergency space blankets, and line it inside uh, to reflect the heat. But this is so light and so easy to store. So this would be a great companion in your vehicle whenever you're out. And this is the way it comes uh, when you get it from Sportsman's Guide. It just has a label, it's just in a bag, real simple. But guys, to me, this makes a great addition to your get home bag or just putting it in your trunk. I mean, if I'm spending the night on the freeway, I want all the help I can get. A lot of guys use these as tent dividers. They had a tent, they wanted to put something up to give them a little bit of privacy. This is a great option. And then also you can use this as a shelter, especially against the sun or against the wind. And you can mount it up. It's got strings on here where you can attach it to some kind of surface, hang it up, 
and use this against the wind, even if you want to erect poles to be able to put up, you know, in some kind of improvised shelter. I mean, it's just one of those items that's just great, and it's just got so many versatile uses. Has its limitations, but it has a lot of uses. Well worth it for the weight and the size. Now, again, I got these on Sportsman's Guide. They were $24.99 a piece. Uh, I also got these poncho liners there as well, and these are also military surplus. They handle a lot of military surplus. Uh, there are a lot of aftermarket woobies out there, and they may be just as good, but you don't know. Uh, but that's one of the things that I like. This is a used poncho liner, so it is surplus, but you know it's proven in the field, and that's one of the reasons why I like to get military surplus if I can. Sometimes these items are hard to find. So again, Sportsman's Guide, and you do get the $20 off every $100 more purchase using Such, so that helps as well. So guys, if the U.S. military loves the Wooby, I think the Wooby would go great whether you're hunting, camping, you're on the bug out, um, or again, you just have a power outage, or you're sitting around the house watching TV or a good movie. The Wooby is great to have around. And again, these are available at Sportsman's Guide, and you get $20 off every $100 or more purchase using Such. No zero zero, and it's just a great resource. And plus, they've got a lot of other items, so check it out. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. And actually fairly inexpensive which is a great thing to do. <laughs> As my brother drives by. No, I didn't get rid of the Hummer. I just bought a Jeep. <laughs> the Wooby, oh yeah. I need my Wooby. <laughs>